easy to use, like, you know, a nice amount of the body wash to do what you gotta do, okay? <music> for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel i'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curly chemistry where i help you guys start hair care lines and also teach you guys to understand your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and today we are talking about some common mistakes that you may be making when you are conditioning your hair and believe it or not your conditioner will make or break your wash day okay what you use how you use it will determine how efficacious that product will be on your hair okay so if you undo these mistakes more than likely you're gonna start seeing some instant results so stay tuned okay number one the first mistake I see a lot of people make is that they are buying conditioners without looking for the cationic ingredients within them if you are familiar with my channel you probably already know what I'm about to say but cationic ingredients are positively charged ingredients our hair naturally is negatively charged so when it comes to hair care opposites attract so when you are using a conditioner that has cationic ingredients within them you're going to have better adhesion to the cuticle what do i even mean for example you ever use a product and then once it's rinsed off it don't even feel like nothing's on your hair like it just feels like you didn't even condition your hair more than likely the ingredients in that formula did not adhere to the cuticle cationic ingredients however are amazing because opposites attract so when they get on your cuticle you're going to get some amazing slip great manageability softness smoothness all the things you want in a conditioning experience right right so what you want to do is make sure that these ingredients are at least within the first three to five on that ingredient list okay if they are in the first three to five of that list more than likely it's going to be in there at a very efficacious level which will allow you to see some performance so keep an eye out on that if you're interested in learning more about conditioners that do have these ingredients within them based off of your porosity i have two videos below one for low porosity holy grail products and high porosity holy grail products and i mentioned some amazing conditioners in those videos so definitely check that out as well okay number two and i know it's going to sound Sounds so cliche but not combing the conditioner thoroughly through your hair and I was so guilty for this for years and I always wonder why my conditioner just wasn't giving me the experience that I wanted it's because I wasn't combing it through my hair and remember how I said how cationic ingredients adhere to the cuticle that's exactly what you want and the best way to really maximize that performance is combing it thoroughly through your hair do it in sections take your time and comb it through your hair whether that's with a detangling brush detangling comb whatever you need to get definitely do that and you're going to see instant results when you comb a conditioner thoroughly through your hair okay number three is going to be not using enough conditioner in your hair the amount of conditioner you use should be in direct proportion to how thick or how thin your hair is if i have thick hair which i do i can't use a quarter size amount i can't even use a dollar size amount i need to use like ten dollar size amount if that's even a size but you know what i'm trying to say you need to use what your hair needs okay how much your hair is is how much conditioner you need to be using look at it as when you are using body wash in the shower if you use like a penny size amount for your entire body your whole body is not going to get clean you need to use like you know a nice amount of the body wash to do what you gotta do okay so the same thing applies for the conditioner in your hair don't be afraid of it it is your friend all right guys hope you have enjoyed this video on some mistakes to avoid when you are conditioning your hair of course i have a question for you comment below what is your favorite conditioner right now and i ask this question because sometimes it fluctuates based off of what's coming out what's new on the market so i'm curious to know what conditioner are you currently loving comment below and i cannot wait to join the conversation with you also, I'm super excited to announce that the Curly Chemistry Natural Hair Care Wisdom flashcards are coming out next week. Woo! I'm so excited. They are finally, finally, finally ready for you, okay? If you don't know about them, it is over 120 plus digital flashcards on ingredients, your hair, porosity, DIY recipes, advice, tips, all of the things 
at your fingertips, literally at your fingertips on your phone or your computer. So I'm so excited to release these next Friday, so be on the lookout for that as well. Be sure to like this video if you like this video and subscribe and make sure notifications are on for more Curly Chemistry content. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Charmaine369 for more Curly Chemistry content on a daily basis, especially for my Q&A live sessions as well. And if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry and your hair, definitely check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. I have a link below for you for more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, no matter where you are in the world, I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.